the the en- enemy has struck in the in the heart of our 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 empire. A puny puny contingent of their their soldiers has has been been in captured and he here on on King King Rara. Rati Rati do do not not co co exist. No, no. And now now the the the, the t- tide latest just turned in, in this in this war war. Your your de- your defiant fire and senses of this a pathetic attack and and just useless just just just. You you bore bore me me Monsieur Monsieur. This is integrate great me me so I'm so I might try join my my com comrade rides. This is in integration. It is is not not fit for for you you. Your your fate it will be will be different. <laughs> The human can can to appreciate the the honor that I that I am I am about about to to bestow to her. She is not not only me a great great warrior, but but how how made it is is the the heart of the 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 Tatiga.
rest in, in peace, peace. Time, time, let him let it be. First, there's the t tiger, tiger's curse claw. Oh, now, now, this is. Yes, enough, enough. You, you are not, you are not to, bl to blame for, for either, either. Some, some would, dis would disagree. disagree. This is this is Colonel Colonel Christ, Christopher for Blair Blair report report to report to Admiral Admiral Tall Tall one the, the wreckage the wreckage of the Con Concordia Concordia has been has been loca located located Vest Vespus Vespus off this off the Mr. Mistral Co Coast Coast about evaluation mission total total loss loss. You can't can't live your live your life life for for the, the approval of all of one one man. Any, anywhere anywhere from A from Angel Angel. Mom, mom. Is that, the, is that the official official line? Oh, oh, oh. I know I know how much how much she she means she means to you, you lady. Is that is there some something thing wrong 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 with your your hear, hearing being colonel? No, no, sir, sir. It's just it's just that I that I. The, the TCS TCS this victory victory it is. Fine fine can carry away with a lot the long long history history of of service service of the of the confederation. Yeah, yes yes sir. A, a very, very long, long history, history, sir. sir. Ship, ship assignment, assignments, aunt, 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 open to, open to debate, debate, cut, colonel, colonel. Of course, of course I, I real, realize, realize that the, that the accommodations means may not, may not be what, be what you're, you're quite, quite used, used to, used to. Well, well sir, I, sir, I didn't mean, didn't mean to, to suggest, suggest yes, that, that the, vic the victory will, will benefit, benefit great, greatly, greatly from, ha from having a wing, a wing, coming command, commander of your, of your st stature and their experience. Thank, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. But, but, can't we, can't we at least, at least dis discuss, the, discuss the? Now that, now that we have, we have the kill, the kill, Rath, Rathi on the, on the run, run, in, in both the both the God, Dardell and Ellen, Morph, Morpheus, the systems, systems. I, I can, can afford afford to, sh to shift shift you you to the to the victory victory in, in or in or see see me me. But I'm but I'm trying to trying to tell tell you you. Carl, no, is that is that thing things are are looking looking up up. 
Federal Federation Federation has been has been making making some very some very very positive positive strides. Dismiss dismissed. Sir, sir, sir. About my, about my record request. Request. Yeah, yeah. But it came, it came as a, came as a bit of a bit of a surprise, surprise to Mr. Me, me. As, as you know, you know, oh, Col Colonel, Colonel Dev Dev Rose, Rose st Stator, Stator, is us is on a need, I need to know, to know, ba no base, basis. Your, your shuttle, shuttle is always wait, waiting. Ding. Yes, yes, sir, sir. Several, several dense, densely poppy populated related sectors. Sector, sector, sector. Confed Confederation Federation spokes 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 people people insist, insist this that that humanity humanity may maintains maintains the of the upper hand, upper hand and in its in its galactic galactic str struggle struggle with the with the Karathi. Kar 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 however, 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 our our source sources says docu document a, cons a consist consistent and under under report reporting of of Karathi Kar 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 incursions. incursions. As well as well as civil civilian and and industrial losses, there are there are even even report, reports of of con con fed fed plans plans for a for a do dooms doomsday day evac evacuation of of earth earth re replant planting the thing the seed seeds of humans of humanity in a in a distant distant gal galaxy. The question the question is is who would who would go go. Who would be who would be left be left behind behind and most and most important important importantly who who is making is making these in these decisions decisions Mr. 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 Welcome, welcome to the T the TC ECS VS Victory Victory Colonel Colonel. Oh, thank you, thank you, Captain Captain. Not, not, not known, known as tis, tin can cans and sell Sally. Hey. It, it warms my my heart, heart to see to see you, you again again, Colonel. No. But but I must I must ex excuse excuse my side self now now. As, as your your duty duty here here takes takes precedence over over our car catching catching up up. 
on on old old top times. Thank thank you, Hobbs. 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 We'll, t we'll talk talk later later. No, no, what you what you're, what you're th thinking? Thinking? She's she's no no con Concordia. Uh, uh. Neither neither is a curse con Concordia anymore anymore. anymore. Uh, uh, uh. Terrible terrible loss. loss. My sim my sympathy to this. Yes. However however uh, you're in you're in my my home home now now. now. And, and I'll and I'll expect expect you to you to wipe wipe your your feet feet every time every time you time you come come in in. I, I've been, I've been with with the victory 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 most most of my of my career career. I, I was I was communications office officer during a during a maiden maiden voyage. Well, sir, sir, I'll I'll admit admit I I wasn't wasn't looking looking forward forward to the to the assignment but but. Now that, now that I see you, I see you have a have a pilot pilot as as fine as fine as Russ Rogan Rogan or Har Hollis Hollis on your on your crew crew. Ha ha ha! Yes, he's he's my my second second in command command. He's not he's not fly, flying flying. At at his re, his request request. I I I know know all all about about his his ex exploits exploits with with you you Colonel Colonel. Oh. But but here 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 no no one no one will will fly fly with I would a Kar Karathi Karathi on his on his wings wing. What about what about his his ex exemplary record record? That that must must stand for stand for something something. It it was his 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 request. Yes. Cap Captain Ison Ison, I'm I'm not going not going to tell you to tell you, tell you how to you how to run your run your share ship. Yep. But I am I am going to going to insist, insist that this that Hob Hobbs is re is reinstated and stated the fleet the flight flight roster roster immediate, immediately immediately. Well well that's that's am am Colonel 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 but but uh, who 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 I, I will I will sir sir. I'll I'll fly fly with him with him he's the he's the best best wing wingman I've man I've ever ever had. had. Welcome aboard, old friend. You're looking fine and fit. <laughs> Does this war agree with you? <laughs> yeah, like a pair of busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. And how is the fine pilot and comrade Angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for Tallwind. But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested... Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well, there are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah, but when my life's on the line, I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend. Lieutenant Rollins, common exec, welcome aboard. You uh, get the pep talk from the captain yet? <laughs> Something like that. Well, the good news is it won't take too long to shower off the bullshit around here. The Captain Eisen seems to believe in his ship and his crew. And that kind of attitude's good for morale. Yeah, well, you haven't been monitoring transmissions like I have. If you did, you'd jump sector in a nano. Are you saying Command's hiding something from us? Well, I, I can't say for sure, Colonel. But if you want the straight dope around here, you check in with Radio Rollins. Might even save your life. It must be a lot of work carrying all that paranoia around. <laughs> I suggest you stow it. Oh, you'll be asking for another dose of paranoia from Radio Rollins real soon. You want the straight dope around here? You come to me. I'd even save your life. Hey, 
hops. How about going around with me? Bet you a week's pay on one hand. Thank you. No. Welcome aboard, sir. You want to play a hand? Now, since you're the rookie on this boat, I'll let you call the game. <sighs> Not much for protocol, are you? No. Formalities tend to be forgotten when you spend most of your time just trying to survive. What little spare time we do have, we fill up with other things besides practicing our salutes. Well, I guess you have to adapt to your surroundings. Don't I know that? It's an art, really. No wonder they call you Vagabond. Been doing your homework, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've knocked around some. And yet your combat file is surprisingly brief. What's with the big gaps in your bio? Can I help it if Confed decides to blank my data? <laughs> Sometimes HQ is as big a mystery to me as the enemy. <laughs> we got a lot of good people here, Colonel. Even those of us with incomplete bios. Just give us a chance. They must have had their reasons. They don't seem interested in sharing them, do they? Hello, mon ami. I hope the fight goes well for you and all the others on the Concordia. I'm about to set up for a covert operation with Admiral Tolwyn. So I'm afraid we might be apart a little longer. But always remember, just them. I love you. No, I don't have anything better to do, okay? So I pulled into a tight loop, locked onto that cat's tail, fired off a heat seeker, boom! Turned him into kitty litter. It was a, all right. Well, well, <laughs> if it isn't the Colonel. Uh-huh, I'm sorry. I couldn't make your welcoming party. Well, I guess you had more pressing maneuvers to undertake, maniac. When duty calls, I'm there. Women like the smell of success. Uh-huh. You know, I'm surprised you haven't been blown out of the sky by now, maniac. Uh, by friendly fire. Some people appreciate my flying style. I do what's necessary to win, okay? Suppose you're still flying with one eye on the regs manual. I don't take stupid risks. <laughs> yeah, speaking of stupid, I also heard you put Hobbs back on the flight roster. <laughs> my, my. Word travels fast on this tub. <sighs> Never understood what you saw in that cat. Simple. I need a wingman I can count on. You can't trust someone who will kill their own kind. Who I choose as my wingman is my prerogative. It's a privilege of rank. I'll bet you stay up late nights just polishing it, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I have majors who do that for me. The difference in our rank is a formality. We both know who's better in the cockpit. Yeah, we do. Let me tell you that story again. So. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. Colonel Blair, report to the briefing room immediately. <laughs> ah, come in, Colonel. Time to put that reputation of yours to the test. Confed intelligence tells us that the Karathi presence is growing here in the Osini system. You and your wingman are to fly routine patrol of these three zones, sweep the area of any hostiles you may encounter. Understood? Completely, sir. Chief Tech Rachel Coriolis, welcome to the victory, Colonel. Heard you're flying with Hobbs on this one. Hey, you got a problem with that, Chief? No, sir, not at all. I think it's about time that cat's one hell of a pilot. Here she is, one Hellcat 5. She's prepped, primed, loaded, locked, and ready to kick some ass. Thanks. What about ordnance? It's all taken care of. The captain downloads the mission specs to me. I dope out the weapons requirements, so you're set to go. Uh, oh yeah? 
In the future, Colonel, you have the option of choosing your own weapons. Or you can trust my judgment and fly with my default loadout. I promise, Colonel, never to disappoint. Congratulations, old friend. Yeah, just like old times, huh? I'm very sorry, old friend. I let you down. Sure as hell wasn't all your fault. I must say, it certainly felt good to be back out there again. My gratitude for your trust in me is endless. Ah, forget it, Hobbs. You're back where you belong now. Oh, oh, good day, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Carry on. Sorry, sir. It's Raquero from the Celeste system. You can tell a lot about a system from its music, you know? Some places it's all minor chords. Makes you just want to run out and do a suicide mission. But this is bright. Heats your blood. Makes you want to live a long life. Now, are you a pilot, Lieutenant, or a musician? Oh, I'm a pilot, sir. A pretty good one, too. Check my kill scores. But my family? They made guitars for many generations. I've got one that's almost 200 years old. The sound just keeps getting richer. Someday, I'm gonna open a cantina and bring in the best to play that guitar. A place for old fighter jacks like you and me. Well, you better line up some other customers. Might not be many of us left. Oh yeah, it'll be open to one and all. And me, I'll just sit back, gaze at the beautiful women, Listen to the music. It's a nice dream, Piquero. Hang on to it. You bet, sir. <laughs> Some of these guys, they actually like the killing. Me? I just walk away when this is all over. Are you sure your heart's in this, Piquero? Don't get me wrong. I like my job, but some of these guys, they actually like the killing. Me, I'll just walk away when this is all over. It's time we talk, Lieutenant. Ain't much to talk about, sir. You've flown with it, and you both got the job done. It's time we talk, Lieutenant. Ain't much to talk about, sir. You should have known better than to fly with it. If you're referring to Hobbs... I can't fly with him, sir. If you stay on this ship, you'll have to sooner or later. Don't put me in a position of having to defend him. I won't do it. Why? Let's just say I'm hardwired that way. And nothing you do is gonna change that. Look. I'll try and keep you two separate on offensive assignments. I'm not asking for special favors. We need every good pilot we've got. And just so you know, I'd trust Hobbs with my life. That's your choice. Hey, Colonel. Hey. Pull up a chair. Nice see Let me know if I'm out of line here, but the word is there's a test pilot flying in on one of the new Excaliburs. Is that true? Oh, Command doesn't tell me everything. I hope it's true. I can't wait to get my hands dirty with one of those pups. <laughs> you really like your job, don't you? I just hope the test pilot's not some priest that won't let me touch his equipment. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. You really get to the point. Yeah, well, I never really cared much for gray areas. That's why I do what I do. Either an engine part works or it doesn't. Shane's don't lie. Not as much as people do, anyway. Should be a little hard on people. They gotta pass inspection, same as anything else. Of course, I got certain hours for that. And do we keep this schedule posted, Chief? Mm -hmm. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Only for a select few, sir. Sir? They call you Flint, right? So you have looked at the flight roster. Are you making a request, Lieutenant? I've given it a glance. 
Then you know there are other pilots here aside from those you've flown with on other missions? <sighs> Wingman assignments were still my prerogative last time I checked. Sir, I come from a long line of fighter pilots. My brother, my father, his father before him. I guess you could say it's in my blood. Your point being... I know your record. I would have at least expected you to take a look at the victories. We've racked up our share of kills. We're not scrubs out here. <laughs> Nobody said you were. I suppose you're afraid I'll peel off the first time we engage. What about the 20th time? Or the 30th? Will you fatigue even a split second or get a twitchy finger? The wingman I fly with? I need guarantees. Respectfully, sir, if you only fly when there are guarantees, you won't be flying much. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, I wouldn't presume to do your job for you, sir. I just work here. <laughs> Sorry you feel that way, Lieutenant. But I gotta go with my gut. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Confed civilian transport ship is moving through the Ossini area. She's going to need an escort, especially since Intel reports that Karathia testing a new cloaked missile. Confed has codenamed these new weapons skippers because they apparently skip in and out of cloak every few seconds to maintain contact with the target. Now you can see them one second, then they're gone the next. There are a lot of civilian lives at stake here, girl. I'll do my best, Captain. I'm sure you will. Way to the bridge, Confed's expecting my tech debriefing. I caught some of the incoming radio, Major. How long have you carried that flash handle? Since my first day at Academy. I don't think you should ever apologize for sporting a little style. That baby's still classified, folks. You think you could keep your people at bay a while, Colonel? Christopher Blair. Ah, I read about you back when I was flying with training wheels. Is it true pilots don't get older, they just get better? The good ones. Maybe someday, kids will read about you. Only the good ones. We'll see if anyone reads about you someday. That Excalibur's one hell of a ship. But just like I figured, there's a real dick on the other end of the leash. What, he's not letting you do your job? These loving hands, I can tweak anything and make it run a little better. Of course, and a little grease never hurt. Maybe he doesn't need me now, but there's going to come a time when he's flying a paste and glue special and then see what kind of servicing he gets. I bet you'd like to take her out for a shakedown spin. You know, if you swing by at the right time, you just might find the key in the ignition. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done any joyriding. Well, then you owe it to yourself. <sighs> I'm not interested in stepping on the Major's toes. Well, forget I ever mentioned it then. I wish they wouldn't send me these Academy hotshots. Youth and wisdom are rarely combined, Captain. It's still your ship, Captain. He answers only to Admiral Talwin. Colonel, we're under attack. Launch all fighters. Red alert! Red alert! Launch all fighters! Launch all fighters! This is not a drill! This is not a drill! What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm waking up now, sir. Didn't you hear that scramble alarm? Yeah, it woke me up for a minute. We were under attack, for God's sakes! My talents won't be wasted on your little skirmishes. Yeah, well, people were dying out there, you son of a bitch! It's a war. People die all the time. 
You've never seen it, have you? Seen what? Never seen pilots, people you know, getting fried in their own cockpit. I do my part for Confed. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met anyone as... frightened as you. You think what you want. I've got my orders. Yeah. And you'll find refuge in that just as long as you can. They ought to shoot that kid, you ask me. At least strap him to one of my thrusters on the next mission. As usual, Maniac, your solution to the problem is brainless. Well, me, I, any chance I get, I'm up in the air. I mean, they're going to have to pry my dead carcass out of the cockpit. Oh, stop banging your chest. You're going to bruise it. The Colonel will deal with him. Oh, look, the Colonel is a spineless... I wouldn't finish that sentence if I were you, Major. Uh, we were just speculating on when the new pilot might pull his own weight. Uh-huh. Well, one way or another, we'll find out what Flash is made of. I guarantee you that. Does he pat you like that? Well, Admiral Tolan makes a call on that. It's out of my hands. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Come in, Colonel. We have to move quickly on this. The only reason we aren't under attack right now is because the Karathi have bigger fish to fry. And they've targeted Tamayo, too. The transports are already moving in. Now, if you and your wing can cut through the fighter cover, we might have a shot of destroying those transports. Now, we're going to need a lot of firepower, and we're going to need it fast. Scramble everybody. I want those flight decks empty. Right away, sir. <laughs> Don't trust my loadouts, huh? My loadout not good enough for you, huh? You are way out of line, Colonel. Somebody had to step up to the plate, mister. You think Confed wants some old man risking their state-of-the-art test vehicles, huh? Where do you learn to spew all this crap? Doesn't the Academy teach kids to fly anymore? Listen, old-timer, I don't have to take this from you. I think it's time to teach you a lesson. Meet me at the simulator at 0900 and we'll see who knows how to fly. Hey, what's your lame excuse this time? Get off my case, old man. You'd trade places with me in a second. <laughs> that is, if Confed had a senior citizen circuit for test pilots. <laughs> Where do you learn to spew all that crap? Doesn't the Academy teach kids to fly anymore? Listen, old timer, I don't have to take this from you. I think it's time to teach you a lesson. Meet me at the simulator at 0900 and we'll see who knows how to fly. Combat simulators don't prove anything. The only thing that really counts is out there against the Kalorathi. Then I guess we'll never know, will we, Colonel? On one condition. If you lose, you put in for a transfer to combat pilot status aboard the Victory. If that'll make you feel better. I'd ask you to shine my shoes if I win, but uh, I like my shoes too much. I guess you two are itching to go at each other. Well, sir, I just got... As a rule, I'm not too big on these needless displays of macho crap. You're taking a big risk, morale-wise. And if you lose, you won't be too popular around here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice, Colonel. Kick the little twerp's ass. Yes, sir. Guess we got ourselves another combat pilot, but it's a whole nother thing fighting the Karathi out there. Too bad, old man. Looks like the kid was right. Well, it just proves what I've said all along. You are overrated. Resources are utterly depleted. 
It remains a source of slave labor, but the population has never been particularly malleable. Slaves we have no shortage of. Kellens want this system, they shall have it. Nevertheless, my liege, I bristle at the thought of... They will call it... Oh, what is that strange word they have? Surrender. No, it is not that. This system shall serve as a message to the apes. Since it is no longer of use to us, we shall render it useless to them as well. As always, my age, a wise choice. I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilrathi had other plans. I'm sorry. That's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. You haven't been back since? <laughs> well, which one was home? Oh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing. Different serenades, depending on how close the moons were. Yeah. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Flint, when you fly, are you gonna be my wingman or your brother's wingman? Listen, I'm not sure I can afford to put you and your dead brother on my wing. Colonel, I'd like to apologize for some of the things I said. Some? Well, I still think I could have beat you two out of three. Care to go at it again? No. From now on, I'll prove it to you out there. That is, if you figure I'm good enough to be your wingman. You're on the roster. You'll get your shot, same as everyone. Thank you. You've been in these parts before, right? Word is the Kilrathi have bled this system pretty dry over the years. Wakanda's well, always been hotly contested. A few months ago, I heard stories about some backwater system the Kilrathi had under siege for months. But after they cleaned it out, they didn't just move on. They dusted it with some new biological weapon. The whole system's supposedly a total biohazmat. Really ugly. No one can get near it. Rumor has it, Confed's quarantined that system. Nobody even talks about it. Nothing the cats do surprises me anymore. But if we do our job right, we're not gonna have to worry about that kind of thing. <sighs> Rollins has been running off at the mouth again, hasn't he? A Kilrathi bioweapon? It's a fairy tale. <laughs> Colonel, you know the Kiorathi may be using bioweapons here. First I've heard of it. Kiorath has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorathi? It doesn't matter if you believe me. Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story. It's hard for me to believe someone I know so little about. I used to raid these planets. Yeah, I know. 
It puzzles me, these reports that the Karathi are surrendering the system. Surrender. Though I know the word in your language, I still fail in truly grasping it. I cannot guess at all what my one-time comrades might do. And Kilrathi are most dangerous when they are unpredictable. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've still got more questions than answers on uh, Karathi operations here. Some of the Karathi forces are pulling out, but other elements are closing in on the Condo 4. Intel thinks they've got warheads tipped with a new kind of bioweapon capable of spreading a pandemic over the whole planet within minutes. If Intel's correct, the half-life of this virus is over 500 years. Colonel, we can't let a single warhead slip through and strike the planet. If the warheads bio, the civilians of Lakanda 4 will... Well, they'll die slow deaths from a ravaging disease, and all we'll be able to do is pull out of here as fast as we can. Good luck, son. You might have died out there chasing after me. I might have. Well, I guess the captain ordered you. No. That was my call to make. Well, I guess I should be impressed. I've never been very good at saying thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I want you to understand. You sure you're okay? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm sorry you had to come after me. Oh, forget it. Sometimes I feel the same way. I'd like to kill every one of those Kiarates my own self. Take care of yourself, girl. Cobra's a hell of a fighter. She risked too much. We don't fly suicide missions. We fight this war to live, not to die. You've got to fly with your head, Flint, not your heart. You've never done that, sir, fly with your heart. The day I do that, I expect a stiff dressing down, mister. That's an order. Sir, my father didn't read his children bedtime stories. He read to us from the regs manuals. I know there are certain actions necessary. Book regs are not war regs. If this were peacetime, I'd ground you faster than a tachyon. But now that's an indulgence we can't afford. But don't make one of us come after you again. That, sir, would be an indulgence. If every pilot pursues a private war, the Kowrathi triumph. Until further notice, you're grounded. Blitzkrieg Kilrathi assault has taken the lives of thousands Still buying the of fantasy that we're winning the war? Why the hard on for the opposite take? Put on by the because you'd have to be blind not to see that things are going bad and getting worse? Excuse me. Fact, we haven't had shore leave in months. Fact, all we do is move from one defensive mission to another. Fact, our entire force is constantly in retreat. Now, is that just my imagination or is the entire war effort unraveling before our eyes? Fact. We have a communications officer aboard with far too much time on his hands, dangerously spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt throughout the ship. From now on, mister, you spout your theories to anyone. I'll have you reassigned to waste recycling. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for winning us Flash on a permanent basis. <laughs> a little of both, I guess. Ah. Have I taken the time to thank you for the good work you did in the Laconda system? No need, sir. I wish I had more pilots like you, Colonel. Might make the war in sooner. I'm especially glad that you haven't let the victory cramp your style any. Thank you, sir.
Colonel, uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Um, Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fella see, and he went out one day and saw his wingman get fried. Started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. He uh, hit a jump point just as the Kilrathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? I had someone too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft in some neutral territory. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely. But I kept thinking one way or another right here. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. Yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> I wish I could, Chief. I had someone, too. Still have, hopefully. But it doesn't do any good to talk about these things. Well, if it isn't lover boy himself. I saw you putting the moves on everybody's favorite little grease monkey. Jealous? Oh, I don't think getting into her pants requires any high-risk maneuvering. Well, just the fact that it takes maneuvering leaves you breathing my engine exhaust, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I've dated all you girls. Yeah. Well, I made my pitch, but she's more interested in real pilots, like you. You like me, don't you? I like you. Feels good, what we've been doing here. Why, are the stakes less personal in this system? I hate to admit it. Those are real people down there, just as real as the people I knew back in the Lokanda system. I can't say they're as real to me, though. I just don't have an image of them in my mind. You'd burn out very quickly if you did. You made some nice moves on that last mission. Of course, one can only tell so much from a board ship. Look, I know it's been hard on you sitting on the sidelines. You know, sometimes I hate myself because I actually feel lucky there is a war. I knew, I mean, I know someone who feels that way. She lives to fight the good fight. For me, it's the flying. I love the purity. Nothing holding me back. Only pilots know that feeling. Look, sir, what I've been trying to say is that I exist to do one thing, fly. I'm requesting reinstatement on the flight roster, sir. Cheerleading from down here is not my specialty. You know, you're right. What the hell took you so long? <laughs> Not all of us maneuver at warp speed, sir. Thank you, sir. That's an issue that should be taken up with Captain Ison. But the regs say you have authority. Regs are meaningless if a captain and a wing commander aren't in sync. Now, if the captain has no problem, I won't stand in the way. Yes, sir. Ah. Oh. Colonel, good call putting Flint back on the Rouska. We need every good pilot we can get. I think she's got her head back on straight, hmm? Well, let's get started. Uh, Colonel, I put Flint back on the Rouster. I'm not real impressed with how you passed the buck. Frankly, I think she's got her head back on straight. Let's get started. We've got a weapons convoy coming in. If we can get it through the blockade, the base will have a chance of defending itself. We must protect this convoy at all costs.
Are you feeling well, Colonel? I mean, have you had a med check lately? Well, I feel fine, sir. Well, I'm curious, because for a pilot with such a badass rep, you haven't shown me much so far. Well, maybe we should all stop judging each other and just get the job done, sir. Not now, partner. All you jocks want a recon work so bad, now you got it, which means us grunts gotta bust our asses for you. <laughs> About time. I don't recall ever seeing that before. That smile on your face? It looks good. Oh, I can smell them, sir. Now that we're in their territory, all those Kiorathis waiting to die in my hands. Well, being on the offensive seems to have brought you out of that shell of yours. I didn't become a pilot just to babysit bases. We're gonna kick some ass here. You gotta be pumped on all the missions, Cobra. Not just the ones you like. Point well taken, sir. Come on, try your luck, sir. Uh, don't I get to cut the deck at least? You'd be surprised how many rookies just ante up and uh, look shocked when they lose their first pot. Well, they get what they deserve then. I hear we're going after a garrison. I haven't been briefed. It may not seem like it, but my wheels are always turning. I fly better when I know what the real objectives are. HQ's got a bad habit of labeling every target a military installation, even when they ain't. I like to be real sure. Hey, we're the good guys, remember? We don't go after innocents. It's the difference between us and them. Well, it's like the cards, see? A lot of people, they never ask questions about what's dealt. This war, everything's military. Not everything, sir. Let me guess, you're an RV, right? RV, sir? <laughs> Recon version, first time behind enemy lines. I think you always fight a little harder when you're on your own turf. Well, enemy lines are just squiggles drawn on a map, Vaccaro. They don't mean squad otherwise. Don't worry about it. Well, you know, Vaccaro, we have little choice in where we fight. Get used to it. For once, sir, we're actually taking it to the cats. Well, what do you think, Lieutenant? Maybe we have a chance in this war after all? Could be. But I wouldn't make plans for a victory party just yet. <sighs> ah, they said join the Navy and see the universe. But I'd just as soon not buy the farm in Karathi territory. Only you could read trouble into offensive recon assignment. Yeah, well, my decodes from the comm traffic say we're just flailing away here. This ain't some great strategic stroke. This is Desperation City. It is good the missions we now fly. At last, we take the battle to the enemy. Well, a little rockin' and rollin' is good for the soul, I guess. Strange that despite the skill and courage demanded in flying, a part of the Karathi spirit is never entirely satisfied by interstellar combat. You like it up close and personal? Mm. We are taught how to use these claws even before we can speak or walk. But this seems... Savage to you? 
primitive. Killing is killing, hot blooded or cold. You're one of the best pilots we've got, buddy. Don't start second guessing what you do. Colonel, part of the reason we're in Karathi space is because of your flying. You've done the victory proud. I've reinstated Flint. Keeping her grounded is not a luxury we can afford. Now, as you may have heard on the grapevine, we're here to destroy this system's military garrison. We're gonna have to fight through several waypoints. The enemy's spread out with patrols everywhere. Any ship that can escape to the jump point will be able to alert the rest of the Karathi to our presence here. And that would mean we'd have to scrap this entire offensive. You need to kneel every last one of them, Colonel. Consider them nailed, sir. God, I love that boy, Spunk. Thanks. Hello, Colonel. Good to see you. You're flying high today. Well, word is, things are looking up for the good guys. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my father taught us about other campaigns, other wars. Weapons keep changing, but we can still learn from the past. Yeah. Take the Trojan Wars. That conflict also lasted generations. Well, that's the one that ended with the Trojan Horrors, right? According to legend, but the important thing is that it did end. <laughs> it's good to know conflicts like this don't last forever. It just seems like it. <laughs> Thanks. So what's your opinion, Colonel? Are we winning this war or just digging our own graves? The war's been going on for a generation. It's not gonna end next week, no matter what you hear. Well, guys like Lieutenant Rollins, nobody would listen to him if Confed was more upfront about things. What's this illusion that HQ has everything figured out? So we're on our own up here. Everyone for himself. Now, look for a savior coming from Confed Command. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. This is the kind of mission I take special pride in. We're going to play possum inside the nebula here. Karathi used it to screen convoys coming in and out of the system, and the longer we can stay undetected, the more damage we can do. Again, we can't let a single one of their ships escape, and I don't have to tell you the kinds of hazards you'll face trying to navigate in a nebula. Only the best flyers can make the necessary adjustments, Colonel. I have faith you'll be one of them. I won't disappoint, sir. Explain to me how, even with their jump point masked, the Terran carrier escaped our grasp. Though to my deepest regrets, my liege, they managed to find another jump point outside the nebula where our masking techniques cannot function. That's more. <coughs> we learned only after it was too late. The heart of the tiger was one of the carrier's protectors. The Emperor must not know of the success of this Terran incursion. My thoughts exactly, my liege. The Emperor, of course, must stay focused on the larger picture, our ultimate triumph, which the heart of the tiger continues to jeopardize. I have waited many, many years, and now it is time. The trigger. An excellent plan, my liege. Prepare to send the message. Why didn't you warn us that your kind could close jump points? Lieutenant, I do not believe our shared enemy closed the jump point. Hey, I wasn't hallucinating when it went off my screen. Our esteemed captain has theorized that the enemy cloaked 
the jump point. The characteristics of the nebula undoubtedly made this possible, and explains why the aerial system had been used for so long as a convoy passing. You know the aerial system like the back of your paw, and you claim you had no clue of what was waiting for us? No more than you, Lieutenant. You're a liar. Excuse me, Lieutenant. If you have any hard evidence, I'd like to hear it in private, all right? Yes, sir. You have doubts about my loyalty, old friend? Oh, come on, pal, of course not. But Cobra's a good pilot. Hatred fuels that talent. That's something we can't afford to lose right now. <sighs> Lieutenant! Excuse me. Colonel Hobbs' loyalty is not to be questioned again. Is that understood? Close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know they can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. To think. The only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. Ain't we the lucky ones? Just jump from one nebula to another. Seems we've just signed on to the whole Galactic Nebula Tour package. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. It's funny. It ain't any easier on the Kilrathi. They gotta navigate through it, too. I don't know. Sometimes I think they got eyes in the back of their head. Weird cat thing. Ain't we the lucky ones? First a nebula, now an asteroid belt. I mean, we seem to be flying into one damn obstacle course after another. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is? At least you'll be able to find something to hide behind. It's funny. It ain't any easier on the Kilrathi. They gotta navigate through it, too. I don't know. Sometimes I think they got eyes in the back of their head. Weird cat thing. What's going on? All our comm systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant. Don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus. Or should I say worm? Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We, we will tear your tongues out. We will scoop out your brains. That ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy. And clownish baboons for our clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Gilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Over the 
Nazis believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. Captain, we have a crafty force heading our way. I think they came through that last jump point. It doesn't look like they're running scared, sir. I'll see you in the briefing room. I want every comm station up and running in an hour. See you in the briefing room. Yes, sir. Ah, Colonel. I hope you're not putting much stock in all that hot air the Thrak calf decided to blow our way. No, sir. Good. Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device and aerial that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confair thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation has located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. You know, my father holds very definite ideas about flying under these conditions. He feels you can always find a way to fling the obstacles back in the enemy's face. I got a hollow mail trans from him after Rollins got communications back up. What's your father flying these days? Oh, only a desk, unfortunately. Hmm. I'll bet he wishes he was behind the stick. Oh, you better believe it. It's like an addiction, isn't it? I mean, once you get hooked... You know, I'd like to meet him someday. It's guys like him who really wrote the book on how to fight this war. Yeah, well, he'd like to meet you. I told him I was flying with you, and he was very impressed. Really? Thanks. Yeah, well, then he'll probably outlive us all. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. You see these Karathi fighters that have suddenly left the main flock? I think they figured out where the jump point is, and they plan on getting out of the nebula radio shroud to sound off about it to the main fleet command. You are to stop every last one of them from getting out and being able to send a clear trans. Good luck, Colonel. You have news, Prince Thraka? Of Kilrathi glory, Your Excellency. Terrans attempted an incursion into the aerial system, but they were like insects which we swatted away. They are a vague annoyance, unworthy of your attention. I can have no rest until the Terrans are completely vanquished. Their resistance gnaws at me, and no Emperor of the Kilrathi should have such darkness set upon his brow in the last days of his rule. Oh, but your Excellency's universal reign is merely in its youth. Soon, the Emperor will have the privilege of doing what he wishes with the Terran Confederation. You have my solemn vow in that. I am heartily pleased. A new page is about to be turned. A message is about to be sent to the Terrans. It is one we have discussed before. Yes. And now is the time. Rollins. Around 
honor and a privilege having you aboard, Admiral. Pleasure, Captain. Thank you. Sir. Ah, well, they look like a good bunch. Well, the legendary Colonel. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Admiral. Ready to add to that legend now that you're here? The same old Colonel Blair. <laughs> ah, I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. But there are no legends aboard this ship, just pilots trying to get the job done. Well, I'm not sure such modesty becomes you, Colonel. Let's see if we can add to the legend. Ah, oh, I've brought my own cook on board, so let's see if we can get some decent food. Oh, it must seem like old home week to you. First the Kilrothy Prince, and now Admiral Tolwyn. will be next? Sorry, I know who you're thinking about. Do you? You must be a mind reader. No, I just know more about your history than you might be aware of. She's a colonel in covert ops, right? How did you become such a student of history? That was my weapon growing up. Being the girl, I had to have something to get an edge. And one thing I know about my history is that you and the Admiral have crossed paths more than a few times. <laughs> Bumped heads is more like it. And he knows history, too. Plus every rule and regulation. Yeah, he just doesn't know the human heart. I can't argue with you there, Flint. His job is the same as yours or mine, winning the war. I can't do anything about how he chooses to go about it. Yeah, well, even if you don't agree with him? Hey, I rarely agree with him. But he is an admiral. Welcome, Colonel. As you may or may not know, we are currently en route to the Torgo system, where we will rendezvous with destiny. Gentlemen, I give you the Confederation's finest achievement, the behemoth. After a decade of secret research and development, our greatest minds have created the device that will spell doom for the Kilrathi. Behemoth is a series of linked, superconducting energy amplification conduits focusing an output of 500 million gigawatts into one lancing point. Any target at the end of that point is destroyed. Even a planet? Yes, Captain. Even a planet. We would have liked another year or two for testing and development, but unfortunately, circumstances have forced me to deploy the weapon now. And might I ask why? Admiral. Well, you should know the answer to that more than anyone else, Colonel. The classified and bitter truth is that Confed has been losing the war this past year. If the current trend continues, the Kilrathi will be walking on the Earth in six months, maybe less. So, the behemoth must be pressed into service earlier than anticipated. Because of this accelerated deployment, the ship's defensive systems are, well, how can I put this, uh, somewhat incomplete. There are a few uh, soft spots located here and here. Where the shields are thin, there's been no time to complete keel mounts or laser turrets. I expect you to be especially aware of these areas, Colonel. It'll be your job to protect and defend this ship. This should be looked upon as the Confederation's last ditch effort to win the war outright. Yes? Yes, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Well, the download is complete. We have arrived at Torgo, gentlemen, where I had hoped for a nice smooth rendezvous with the Behemoth. But as is their wont, the Kilrathi have spoiled the party. Colonel? This is undoubtedly the most important mission you've ever flown in your life. You must defend the behemoth at all costs. I want a magnum launch. All fighters up. Are we clear? Yes, sir.
My, my, Grandma, what a big gun you have. <laughs> they don't get any bigger. That's what they all say. Talk is cheap. Maybe you haven't noticed, but the shields on this thing are really thin. I guess it sucks up so much juice that the usual standard equipment gets shortchanged. That's probably in the specs for next year's model. Yeah, and Christmas tree lights, too. <laughs> I suppose this wouldn't interest you. Coded transmissions? Yeah, about a million of them. And they're weird, too. Not the usual coatings. I can't even begin to break them. Lieutenant, we have an admiral on board. Now, his transmissions are supposed to be coded. Colonel, I've been around high rankers before. This is definitely different. <sighs> Damn Tolan. He's always got something up his sleeve. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Sir, I know there are times when you think I'm a little crazy, but I do know my job. Well, keep me posted. Yes, sir. Ah, our local hero. Well, I must say that so far I'm very impressed you haven't lost your touch. May we uh, speak privately, Admiral? Get it off your chest, Colonel. Sir, it's a little unclear to me precisely what your status is aboard this ship. Look, I took the helm of the Behemoth Project ten years ago. And there's no intention to usurp command? <laughs> I'd be a little more careful regarding my choice of words, Colonel. Admirals, by definition, do not usurp. I thought at long last we'd achieved a measure of respect for each other. Obviously, I was wrong. You may realize by now that your assignment here was a little more than merely fortuitous. We're headed to kill Ra with that thing, aren't we? Well, what would you aim for if you had the biggest gun in the universe? Looks like it might be getting back to normal around here. Hmm. Can't say it'll ever be normal while the Admiral's on board. It takes a certain sort to be an Admiral, me. I'll take guiding just one ship. The day-to-day -day successes are more tangible. Let's get to it, Colonel. The behemoth's not ready to move out yet, and we need to keep the Karathi away from it. Mind these four jump points and make sure that they take out all comers. We'll eventually need this fifth point for our exit with the behemoth. Clear? Ah, right, Colonel. Now that we've got the behemoth repaired, we gotta fuel her up. And believe me, she's got a mighty big thirst. Intel has informed us an enemy tanker convoy is traveling through this asteroid belt. Now. You need to disable a minimum of three of their tankers. Our fleet will enter the belt through this jump point. The behemoth will always be about four minutes behind you, so that's all the time you'll have to take out whatever the Karathi is in your way. You leave immediately. <laughs> Wanna buy a ticket, sir? To what? Opening night party of my cantina. People are saying the war is almost over. Once we pull the trigger on that bohemian thing, it'll be hasta la vista, los gatos. <laughs> Don't say a thing. Heard you got chewed out by the Admiral himself. Yeah, well, I guess I should wear that as a badge of honor. According to the Admiral, sloppy dress means sloppy work. Well, excuse me for not heading to the cleaners every time I swap out a part. Well, he sticks real close to the regs. Yeah, well, after this war is over, I'm going to make it my mission to loosen the screws on every moving part belonging to guys like him. Yeah, well, save a screwdriver for me, will you? Uh, 
There's been a change of command, Colonel. No disrespect intended, sir, but why am I not surprised? Well, as we move closer to the deployment of the behemoth, I've decided to assume command personally. I hold the fate of the Confederation in my hands. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We are about to enter the Loki system, where we will test the behemoth on Loki 6, home to a small Kilrathi military base. Loki 6 is a unique planet in that it orbits a quasar. As you know, the quasar blocks out all stellar communications. So the base will be unable to call for help. But by the time the Kilrathi sent out a ship to investigate, we shall be pulling up just outside downtown Kilra. But before we can test fire the behemoth, a little house cleaning is in order. On this mission, I'd like you to sweep out Loki 6's surrounding environs. Don't leave any strays out there. We don't need anyone bothering us when we line up the weapon for its first test. Got it? Understood, Admiral. Looks like Tolwyn's about to steamroll her another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. You know, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would breathe the galaxy of Kiorathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy, Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was 10. Who, the Kilrathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. Must have been. You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guy spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me and I can't get it out. One day there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. Can I speak frankly, Admiral? Well, I've never known you to do otherwise. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your assumption of command has done ship morale much good. I'm not really interested in public opinion polls on my tactical decisions. And as I recall, you weren't particularly enthused about your own transfer to this vessel when it happened. That was before I was acquainted with its crew, sir. Ah, yes. A fine quality, your transfer of loyalties. Project Behemoth needs a guardian angel. I've been with it since its inception. The choice was clear-cut and indisputable. We all have just one superior, Colonel. The progress of the war. Yes, sir. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. War is everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. 
First time I've been like that since... I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They can promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. That first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. Well, this is a simple one, Colonel. Cover me while I fire the behemoth. That sounds simple enough, Admiral. It has been many years since I have been this near to Kira. I'd understand if you had mixed feelings about the behemoth and what it's about to do. It has been a long war that has turned all of us inside out. There will be Kilrathi that survive, and when the war is over, they'll understand what you did. No one ever will truly understand what I did. But your loyalty has meant much to me, my friend. This is it, Colonel. I've been waiting ten years for this glorious moment. We're about to hit the jump point. From there, it's straight to Kilra. Protect the behemoth at all costs. The future of the Confederation depends on it. I'm returning command of the victory to you, Captain. Yes, sir. They knew where we were going and when. They knew exactly where to strike. I have every reason to suspect you have a leaky ship, Captain. Respectfully, sir. I resent such innuendos concerning my crew's loyalty. Battles are won or lost. There are never any guarantees. And at the time, she was your ship, sir. Fight well, Captain. The struggle will only get harder. You could use some anesthetic. You know, it's kind of spooky the way the Kilrathi zeroed in on that soft spot. I guess uh, the Rock Cap zoomed in on yours, too. I feel for you, Colonel. Do you want some company? Company? Yeah. But you better put that away. Hey, kick in a bulkhead or something. Get it out somehow, okay? Don't wait till you get in the cockpit. Red alert! Red alert! All pilots up! We are being attacked. This is not a drill. No, I'll be okay. Red alert! Red alert! All pilots 
come. We are being attacked. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Are you all right? I've had better days. Still, the way you've been holding up, considering. You've really been showing us what you're made of. Yeah. Well, thanks, Flynn. And I think about how stupidly I acted back on Lokanda. Look, I'm sorry about Angel. Everyone on board is. She must have been something. Is that the way you face your problems? Look, I don't need this. You have to fly with your head, not with your heart. Those words ring a bell. You take good notes, Lieutenant. Think we could avoid a scramble long enough for me to get a cup of coffee? The Kilrathi don't usually upload their schedule in advance. Look, I'm sorry about Angel. Everyone on board is. We know she was someone quite special. Yeah. And she was. You have no right to lecture me. Look, I'm sorry about Angel. We all are, but that- You want to lodge a formal complaint regarding your commanding officer, Lieutenant? I suggest you do so. Otherwise, back off. Yes, sir. The ship's sensors could track movement in every compartment, right? Well, yeah. I guess, yeah, supposedly, I guess that's possible. Um, I'd have to do some fancy bite surgery. Then do it. Make that paranoia of yours pay off for once. That would be a change for the lieutenant. You want to fill me in? Yeah, those crazy coded transmissions are still being sent, sir. Cobra here, she thinks hot. I know what Cobra thinks. Sir, they were waiting for the behemoth. They know what we're going to do even before we do. And I can't believe you're still sympathetic towards a Kirate, not after. Look, I'll admit it. It seems like we've been having more than just a little bad luck lately. Now, I want you to keep working on those decodes. Yes, sir. And Hobbs, sir? Right now, I'd say none of us is above suspicion. <laughs> Look, we can't pretend anymore. Confed's losing the war. That's the real cause of our bad luck. And will you lay off Hobbs? If we do lose, can you imagine what they'll do to him? I've been there. I'm tired of flying a desk. I hear you had a little run-in with uh, Thrakath. Yes, I did. You son of a bitch. It pains me that you had to find out that way. How long have you known? Oh. Since the Concordia went down. You haven't lost your touch. Go on, Letty. Take your best shot. Come on. Oh, Vespus. He stood there and lied to me. I was under orders, Letty. All those missions we flew together, you on my wing, protecting me. I was protecting you by not telling you. You just see what your Nelly did when you found out? I was protecting you from yourself. You know how much she meant to me. I do. But this is war, Laddie. All of us have lost someone dear to us. That does not make you special. Yeah. I've heard that before. Besides, 
Angel may yet help us win this thing. She sent one final transmission before she was taken prisoner on Kilra. I think you may be interested to hear it. I'll wait for you in the briefing room. We've got a lot to cover. The behemoth was not the only rabbit in uh, Confed's hat. We in Covert had our own long shot project. It became much more of a reality once Angel got to kill Ra. Angel carried with her an impressive scientific package. Part of it she placed in orbit around the Kilrahi homeworld, other parts were seeded at ground level. All are cloaked and send their low-level signals to a commsat parked just outside the Kilra system, which feeds the data to us. Angel may be gone, but our work continues, laddie. Now, it turns out that the Kilra homeworld is a pretty fragile place layered with active fault lines. Its tectonic plates keep shuffling themselves like a deck of cards. Now, it's my guess that the heavy seismic activity is what propelled the Kilrahi into becoming such an aggressive spacefaring race. So Kilrath has an Achilles heel. Now, over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembla bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation could achieve the proper resonant frequency and trigger a tectonic reaction that would literally shake their planet apart. But even if we could destroy their home world, they got an entire army deployed. Their entire culture is based on a strict, centralized hierarchy. All roads lead to Kilra. Every Kilrahi lives and dies for the Emperor. Destroy that hierarchy, and you destroy them. So, what are we waiting for? Uh, well, we have one problem. There's no bomb. A year ago, Dr. Severin, the man in charge of this project, was captured by the Kilrahi. We tried putting the pieces together without him, but ended up with a zip. And now we have to go and get him. Well, it beats waiting for the Kilrahi to parole him. What? We gotta go after this guy on a prison planet? The only chance we've got at finishing up the T-bomb. Let's get down to the mission specifics. The prison planet is Alcor 5. We'll enter the system through the back door under normal drive. Colonel, I want you to scout ahead, clear the asteroid field, and make sure we are not detected. You got it, laddie? Yes, sir. The grapevine's really been humming. Everyone knows we're getting Dr. Severin. Or Dr. Death, as he's known to some of his old friends. You know him? Yeah. We go back, Sevi and I. Now, you ask me, the Kelrathi did the right thing locking him up. Why do I get the feeling this has to do with your classified past? Look, you know I haven't always been a pilot. You ever hear about Pac-7? Yeah. A lot of people got killed, uh, an accident of some sort. Millions got killed, and that was no accident. Just one of old Doc Sevy's demolitions tests. I was working for him back then. I'm certain he knew exactly what was going to happen, but he saw no reason to warn the civilians. Afterwards, Confed tried to cover it up. <laughs> but who really cared, anyway? The Paxons were just the backwards people who had nothing to offer the war effort. That's when I quit demolitions. In the cockpit? I can see the enemy. They line right up in my gun sights, and I can... The pilots I shoot down sure ain't civilians. But if there's a hell to go to, I know they've got a special place reserved for me. And Sevi. Maybe there's a little redemption possible. If we get this guy, and he helps us win the war. <sighs> Talk about ironies. That's an awful lot of baggage to be carrying around. Maybe you should sit these missions out. No way, Colonel. I want to be right there when we get this guy.
Colonel. Hobbs. He was trying to send this. Over the last decade, work has proceeded on a tectonic frequency weapon, the Tembler bomb. The theory goes that if we can fire this thing with absolute precision, its detonation will achieve the proper resonant frequency. All this time, he's had us bugged. We have to get it to the infirmary. No, get Hobbs. You still have time. That's a negative, Colonel. We're almost Alcor 5. Any pursuit now will jeopardize the entire operation. It was Hobbs. Colonel. Colonel. Colonel! I hate this little ritual. Now I have to compose a letter to the Carol's parents. It's supposed to make them feel proud of their son. I have written too many DEFCOMs. I suppose they'll want this. Damn it, man, you put your own needs above that of the ships. You can't ever do that. All right, the death con. What happened with Hobbs, Captain? When you have an answer to that, Colonel, you let me know. In any event, we have to move quickly now, because there's no telling how much the Karathi already know. something like this happens. Cobra's case, we were the only family she had. I didn't treat her very well. Her family. What happened with Hobbs, Captain? When you have an answer to that, you let me know, Colonel. In any event, we have to move quickly now. There's no telling how much the Karathi already know. Returning to my home world. But my admiration for you compels me to provide an explanation for my actions. You must understand that the Hobbs you knew was a construct, the result of an identity overlay experiment initiated long ago by Prince Thrakath. Lord Ralga Nahalas, you have never truly met. I myself never met him until I heard the Prince utter your Kirathi title, the Heart of the tiger. This was the trigger that awakened my true personality hidden for so many years. Once awakened by the words of my prince, I had no choice but to perform his bidding. Kirathi do not surrender, nor do we betray. And yet, in being true to my kind, I have betrayed you. I have watched you, Colonel, and know you are an honorable warrior. If we meet again, we will have no choice but to perform our duties with honor. Well, this is it, Colonel. Time to extract us a scientist. Your responsibility will be to provide air cover for the Marines, who will descend down onto the planet and get Dr. Severin out. 
I know you hear this all the time, because I used to hear it all the time too. But this may be the most important mission that you'll ever fly. I wish I had the reflexes I had 10 years ago, laddie. I'd be flying in your wing. It's going to take all the self-control I have not to strap myself back into the cockpit. Because if we fail here, God help humanity. See, Doc? Take it easy, boys. I've done what I came to do. And these skills are applied to... That we did not fully explore. His range of knowledge was vast. We are winning the war, Your Majesty. And daily we move closer to invasion of the Terranome world. A vast amount is being assembled. Never before has there been such a mighty force. Never let it be forgotten. It is when the foe is near Pankris that he is most dangerous, my prince. As always, your majesty speaks coolly and wisely. What I tell you about trust in a cat? Hey, too bad Cobra had to die to get her point across. Temper, temper. You can't afford to lose any more wingmen. You know, for once you're right. I am? We're just gonna have to settle it out there. The next time you're on my wing, I might just rotate my turret. And hey, accidents happen. Ooh, I'm shaking. You know, I got a turret too, pal. We'll see. <laughs> so we risk everything to get this one egghead they say might win the war? Although I'll believe that when I see it. And Vagabond decks a guy? <laughs> I bet old Vagabond doesn't get out of the brig till the Karathi let him out. We'll just see about that. I'm gonna have a talk with the captain. Well, he deserved it. You can't just go flying off the handle like that. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. HQ sent us here to Freya because they've located a jump point that leads straight to Kira. A nice little back door we can use later when Dr. Severin completes his device. One slight problem, however, is that the Kirathi own this system. We have to clean them out. Go to it, Colonel. Finally, I get to show what I can do. Oh, I don't know, Chief. I've been pretty impressed from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, well, you haven't seen everything. Not by a long shot. You know, maybe we should get together and I'll show you the rest. You know, sooner or later, you and I have to let go of these ghosts. To see if the parts fit anywhere else. And you think our parts might mesh? Well, you never know until you take a test run.
Colonel, something on your mind? Captain, the brig is no place for a pilot of vagabond skills. Oh, I agree. But the brig is a place for someone as undisciplined as he. Sir, this war is eaten in all of our souls. Vagabonds especially. He deserves another chance. You'll take personal responsibility for him. He flies under me. That goes without saying. Very well. Thank you, sir. Sir, everyone's entitled to a mistake. Mistake? He could have killed the man. Vagabond is out of control. Right now, he's worthless in a cockpit. You're dismissed, mister. Yes, sir. Going somewhere? No. <laughs> Cleaning this out helps me clear my head sometimes. I'm doing a little of that myself. Letting go of, I don't know, certain memories. Hmm. That's good to hear. I, I haven't wanted to pursue it while you were still hoping to find Angel. And I'm probably way out of line here. Um, but... But... It seems like maybe there's something between you and me. Perhaps it's that way with all the female crew members on board. <laughs> well, believe it or not, Flint, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every woman on board. Well, sir, I'm not in the habit of flirting with every man on board. But you do make exceptions? I have. Yeah. Mm. Erno, pull up a chair. For a guy who's been staring at four gray walls for a while, pretty chipper. Well, that's it, isn't it? I'm not playing solitaire anymore. Got you to thank for that. Well, we all lose it once in a while. Yeah. Well, if I had to do it again, I'd still pop the son of a bitch. <laughs> Should I read anything into this? You're talking to me instead of your mechanic? I had to make a command decision, didn't I? Mm, but is it a decision for the moment or something more lasting? Everyone can feel it. We seem to be facing more risk than ever. I think it means every moment has to count. decision-making in action, I'm impressed. Now well, it's always moment by moment in the cockpit. Are we going to expand upon that moment? Are we going to kick in the afterburners here? There's a lot more thrust in those jets than I imagined. <laughs> <laughs> No future in it. Sorry. Not 
My, my, you're just full of surprises. Well, you gotta know evasive maneuvers in the cockpit. Hmm? Should I expect more? Huh? A good pilot knows when to engage. Sorry, but these next few days, everything's on the line. I've got to stay, we've got to stay focused and unentangled. Pilots, you'd rather crash and burn than make a commitment. Surprised you even noticed me. Whatever you may think, Rachel and I are not an item. So where's that leave us? <laughs> I must be out of my mind. I grew up with nothing but pilots. Deep down, you're all creeps. <laughs> Don't forget. You're a pilot, too. Oh, well, then I guess we deserve each other. I can't take the risk of getting involved with someone who might be on my wing. There's too much at stake. Look, I'm a grown-up. I can stand a little rejection. But why? Oh, come on. I don't fly with her. Then can I make a recommendation concerning your choice of wingman? Don't fly with one you've just kicked in the teeth. <sighs> uh, Colonel, I've ordered Vagabond's early release. I still think what he did was wrong, but we need every good man we got. Let's get down to business, Colonel. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. Your old friend Paladin's been keeping busy. He sent us a little gift. Prototype of the Timbler bomb. We're jumping into the Hyperion system where Intel's located an uninhabited and tectonically unstable world. A perfect test site for the weapon. An Excalibur's been modified for this special payload, and Colonel, you've been selected to deliver it by dropping to the surface of the planet and hitting the bullseye. Your timing, your aim, have to be perfect. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. Can't say that I'm real thrilled with the flight plan that you followed back in the rec room. Oh, well... Maybe it's because we're both pilots, you know? We understand each other. Well, since there are things beyond my comprehension, I think you'd better handle your own loadout from now on. After all, I'm just a mechanic. I can't possibly understand the needs of a pilot. Well, wait a second, Rachel. All we gotta do now is new Kilra. Yeah, fat chance. I think I'm beginning to miss the old arrogant Flash. At least he talked a good game. <sighs> I gotta tell you, I'm surprised I survived all these missions. Probably surprised you too, right? <laughs> so, all we gotta do now is new Kilra, and I can get back to some serious test piloting. Something like that. Gotta tell you, 
I'm surprised I survived all these missions. Surprised you too, I bet, huh? Yeah, you hung tough. I gotta hand you that. Well, I wouldn't count my chickens, Major. You think it's been tough? Wait till we get to Kilra. That T-bomb something, ain't it, Colonel? It's unique. I can smell the end, sir. With a weapon like that, well, if that doesn't do it, nothing will. Maybe our grandchildren won't have to fight this war after all. Well, in any case, I want you to know that I've learned a lot from you. Well, you can return the favor when I visit your cantina. Maybe teach me to play that guitar. I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy, and it's been a hell of a ride. I've been to just about every corner of every galaxy, and mostly, it's been shit. A few good times, and a lot of tough times. What's this? Weepy nostalgia from the hardened card chart? <laughs> well, it's just that I've been thinking. Here on the Victory, for the first time, I feel like I put down some roots. You've been a good influence on the rest of us. You don't take yourself too seriously, and you're a damn good pilot. Well, thank you, sir. You're not so bad yourself. How about a quick hand of cards? <laughs> Yeah, well, this ship's about to be tested like it's never been tested before. We might get uprooted if we don't stay on our toes. So, explain something to me. Now that we're flying in tandem on board, how come I no longer raid as your wingman? You know I have to spread assignments around. Oh, why do I get the feeling none of them are gonna spread my way? Hey, I'm trying to protect you. Oh, that's a good one. Listen, you can't freeze me out like this. I want a piece of the action. Once a fighter jock, always a fighter jock. Is that it? Yeah, that's right. And don't you forget it, Flyboy. <laughs> All right. You'll get your shot. And you know you won't regret it. I've already lost one pilot. I'm not losing another. The war can get along just fine without you. And then so can the Colonel. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say... At first, I wasn't so sure about your assignment to the victory, but I'm glad you came on board. It's been an honor and a privilege serving with you. That goes both ways, Captain. The Templar bomb still seems like a long shot, but from what I've seen, you're the one man who can do what has to be done. I just hope I can justify that faith, sir. Well, you will. Hmm? So? <sighs> well, gentlemen, our goal is simple. Termination of the Karathi homeworld via the T-bomb. Now, since we can't jump the entire fleet into Kiroth, we've equipped your Excalibur with Confit's first attempt at truly impenetrable cloaking technology. The Sral device seems effective at jamming their tracking monitors, but it causes severe drain on your ship's systems. It'll be useless after you deliver the payload. You'll need all your power just to get the hell out of there. Now, the first step 
is to assemble a quick strike team up to four wingmen penetrate the Kirov system where you'll stage at a clandestine refueling depot set up by covert ops. Due to its mass sensitive guidance suite and the risk of flying with it, the T-bomb has already been secreted into the system. Now once you load it here at your second stop, you'll have just one target. Successful insertion will require the ultimate in navigational skills. As we've been told, Confed holds that destruction of the Kirath homeworld will badly cripple their war effort. And our Tommy may be just right. Since Intel believes much of the enemy fleet is being outfitted in the shipyards surrounding their homeworld. Colonel, if all goes well, you will not return to the victory until you've succeeded with the entire operation. This is my only briefing then, sir? Oh, comrade of yours will be taking over. Hello again, Letty. I know Captain Eisner's given you a thorough briefing, but you'll find a few more messages from yours truly on the other side of the jump point. I may not be flying in your wing like times past, but I'm still with you. You can count on that. Colonel, good luck. Thank you, sir. If you're watching this, laddie, we're in good shape. Let's not waste any time. My boys have set up an undercover depot closer to the Kilra homeworld. Keep your fingers crossed the Kilrathi hasn't found it, because there you will arm and load the T-bomb for the final run. I'll be talking to you again, I have no doubt. Told you you'd be seeing this old face again. By now the T-bomb loadout is complete. You're gonna have to lay it in there sweet and easy. As this tape plays, the coordinates are being downloaded to you. It's in your hands now, son. Send them all to hell.
you first. Uh, <laughs> I want to lie in the sun and watch the seagulls maneuver over the water. Mm, sounds good to me. <laughs> So, what would you like to do first? I want to take a walk along the seashore. I want to feel the sand between my toes and never see another bulkhead. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Things look pretty grim, Colonel. Here's the situation. The Karathi are coming at us full throttle. We've fallen back to this jump point in the Proxima system because it leads straight to Earth. We can't defend this doorway. We might as well roll out the red carpet for them. I'm not gonna lie to you, Colonel. We're outnumbered and outgunned. Understood, sir. Do my best. You know the situation as well as I do. In all likelihood, we will never see each other again. I know none of us wants to live on the Karathi rule, so all I ask is that you fight like you've never fought before. For duty. For honor. For all mankind. Sir, all our shields are down. We can't stop them. They are not taking my ship. Sir, what, what are you doing? You're heading right into their fleet. We'll take as many of them with us as we can. Make your peace, Mr. Rollins. destroy it. It is a small consequence. Your home world is a watery planet, not an environment I have ever cared for. It is a pleasure at last to have finally and completely conquered you. The Kilrathi are not, however, without what you humans call mercy. We shall grant you the opportunity to plead for your miserable life. You've won, Prince Thrakath. But every being wants to live one more day. I mean, I'm no exception. Even the heart of the tiger proves unworthy in the end.
So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Flint, I want you to be on my wing for this one. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Vagabond, I want you as my wingman. Bicato, I'd like you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. You really smoked him, Colonel. Thanks, Chief. You really took some hits out there. You're lucky you made it back in one piece. She's top your wingman. They distracted her aboard. Tough break about Flash, but we scooped him up. <laughs> Maybe this will teach him some humility. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe that sad sack look off your face, Ace. She made it. Hell, Hobbs wouldn't let one of his own get him. Cat's got nine lives and more. The good news is we scooped out Maniac. The bad news is he's still on the flight roster. <laughs> Swell. Guess who's waiting to play cards with you, partner? <sighs> Great. Relax. Cowboy lives to fly and strum his guitar another day. <sighs> Yahoo. Good job, girl. Thank you, sir. Great mission. Thanks. Way to go, sir. I'll stand. <laughs> As you well know, Colonel. 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 It is a criminal offense under the Confederation Code of Stellar Flight to fire upon your own wingman. You're being detained for court-martial. Come with me, please. 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 I know it gets hairy out there, Colonel, but the victory is the last one on the list for receiving new equipment. Next time, try and bring your aircraft back with you. Hmm? Yes, sir. Are you crazy, Colonel? Ditching your spacecraft because some Karathi is on your tail? What do you think? I got elves in the back somewhere building these things? You don't ditch your craft because of a little trouble, mister. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Makes me wonder where you learned to fly. You better log in some time on the simulator. You can use it! The Colonel was a pilot who at all times flew hard and flew fast. But he was more than that. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man 
who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. He was a man who had an effect on anyone he met. This man will be missed. We are here to bid farewell to Lieutenant Laurel Buckley. I didn't know Cobra well. Doubt that any of us did. At no time does this war seem more cruel than when it ends the life of someone as young as Lieutenant Mitchell Lopez. But I do know that she was haunted by aspects of this war that were darker than anything most of us can imagine. At no time does this war seem more cruel than when it ends the life of someone as young as Lieutenant Mitchell Lopez. But I do know that she was haunted by aspects of this war that were darker than anything most of us can imagine. A man young enough to still have dreams. She is finally free of that pain. The Carol was a pilot who at all times flew with heart and pride. Major Jace Dillon was a reluctant warrior in our battle. Nevertheless, Flash never turned his back when the going got tough. He more than made up for his youth and inexperience by flying with courage and vigor. He more than made up for his youth and inexperience by flying with courage and vigor. We are here to say goodbye to Lieutenant Robin Peters. She flew smart, but she flew with heart. Flint came from a long line of pilots. She flew smart, but she flew with heart. Flint came from a long line of pilots. Her family should be very proud. She lived to fly. Family should be very proud. She lived to fly. And I only wish she could know how much she'll be missed as she takes her last flight. I never expected to live long enough to see this day. Hobbs was, without a doubt, the finest pilot I've ever had the honor to fly with. And although he wasn't a Terran, he was, I dare say, the finest man I've ever known. My life was enriched to be able to call him my friend. Colonel Raga Narhalis, you will be dearly missed. Major Todd Marshall lived up to his call sign. We might not have always seen eye to eye, but Maniac gave it his all, and his skill could not be denied. But Maniac gave it his all, and his skill could not be denied. He had a lust for life and for flying. He had a lust for life and for flying. The victory will be a sadder place without him. Lieutenant Winston Chang was a man who was always ready with a smile and a joke, but flew with a deadly intent in the cockpit. The galaxy's a poorer place without Vagabond. The
galaxy's a poorer place without Vagabond. According to pilots in numerous sectors, the Karathi have ceased the time-honored practice of taking ejected pilots prisoner by plucking them out of space's vacuum and tractoring them aboard support ships. Instead, they have been firing on the defenseless flyers, murdering them in cold blood. In other news from the front, we at TNC have confirmation of a strategic withdrawal from outlying Confederation sectors. Confed sources suggest this is part of a larger operation to give up sectors of minor importance in the hopes that the Kilrathi will spread themselves too thinly across the galaxy. But independent sources suggest there is little strategy behind the withdrawals, only an improvised response to the advance of the enemy. This is Barbara Miles with a TNC Infoburst. In this week's top infoburst, Confed forces have liberated the enslaved populations in the Cabrea system. But the Confederation has clamped down on all vid transmissions from the system, citing the interests of Confed security. Independent sources, however, report that conditions within the system are so horrific that the Confederation has concluded freedom of the press must take a back seat to the psychological harm any news releases may do. TNC believes that you, the viewer, have a right to know at all times. Therefore, we are currently taking action to combat this clear case of prior restraint. We'll keep you informed. Stock markets across the Confederation took a nosedive, with reports that an incursion deep into Karathi territory resulted in heavy losses, including classified offensive weaponry that had been years in development. Unconfirmed reports had suggested development of a new secret weapon that could end the war. But other sources are now extremely pessimistic about concluding this seemingly endless conflict. High tech, the old adage goes, is never cheap or easy. Well, Confed technoids have again pushed the envelope on the bleeding edge of technology with the rollout of a new Excalibur fighter. Its advances range from superior ground fighting capabilities to enhanced weaponry and acceleration design. The Excalibur was designed specifically to outfly and outfight the Kirathi Bloodfang. And now, 
this week's Killed in Action. And here's one for the personnel file. Admiral Jeffrey Tolwyn of Confederation High Command has taken a leave of absence for what's reported to be personal reasons. Our sources speculate that the Admiral has of late been suffering undue stress and depression due to recent downturns in the war effort. This is Barbara Miles signing off for TNC. The war has united the far-flung outposts of our race in a common cause. Red tape has been cut and emergency mentality dominates. But critics wonder how society will shape itself after a successful conclusion to the war. Will there be a price to pay for the centralization and militarization of the far-flung societies that comprise the Confederation? Revolution in the Granita system tops our infoburst. Ad hoc government officials in that system are preparing to withdraw from the Confederation and offer negotiated terms to the Kilrathi. Coexistence, not conflict, is the new Granitan policy, according to a spokesperson. Confederation officials are now meeting with the Granitans to dissuade them of this new approach, arguing that there is no evidence that the Kilrathi have ever honored a negotiated peace. This is Barbara Miles with another TNC infoburst. Reports have surfaced that captured Confederation transports and freighters have been used by the enemy as decoys, luring in unsuspecting fighter pilots who were then ambushed by the enemy. And now one from our People File. Megastar Eddie Rickenharp, who single-handedly brought back mini mono as a popular music genre, has agreed to entertain Confederation forces amidst the ancient and exquisitely beautiful antiquities of Bistango X. This is Barbara Miles with a TNC Infoburst. Elsewhere on the war front, a Blitzkrieg Kirathi assault has taken the lives of thousands of Confederation service people as they were enjoying a concert put on by the megastar Rickenharp against the backdrop of Bistango Ten's priceless millennia-old art treasures. The surprise attack has reduced the beautiful ancient structures to rubble, and Rickenharp himself is said to be in critical condition. This is Barbara Miles with another TNC infoburst. Thanks for watching. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. One of our tracking stations report Karathi activity in these regions. I'd like you to run a patrol through there, sweep the areas. The station's report is sketchy. You might encounter some sort of Karathi cap ship. Go to it, Colonel. Ah, ready to get down to business? Yes, sir. Colonel. I like to discuss your attitude. Seems you're under the impression you're too good for my crew. Now, I suggest you get to know them, start flying with them. Is that clear? As a bell, sir. Fine. Let's get down to business, shall we? Confed has a cargo ship loaded with med supplies that must be escorted to this jump point. Now, unfortunately, news of this shipment somehow leaked out. You will undoubtedly come under Karathi attack. Good luck, Colonel. You'll never guess what's gassed up and ready to go. Would be nice to try the Excalibur this time around, wouldn't you say? On to greener pastures, Colonel. I wish I could say it's been fun. Let's get down to business, shall we? Ready, sir. The Karathi intentions in this area remain unclear. While we continue to gather intelligence, your task will be to corral the cats wherever possible. We wish particularly to shut off their access to the populated planets and this asteroid field. Let's try to put these Karathi raiders out of business permanently. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. We've got a simple job ahead of us. We've got control of the sector base and jump point. The Karathi want that control. Let's keep them at bay, gentlemen. We can't give up ground here. 
Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. Now that we've broken the Karathi siege on the base, the supply ships can finally move in. We need to escort the incoming convoys, get them to the base without any dents. That means a little housekeeping to clear the way. We're doing good. Let's keep it up. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. Ah. No rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. The Karathi have invaded this system in force. We have no choice but to evacuate the Confed base. You're to provide cover for evacuation convoys heading for the jump point. Let's get these people out of here. Good luck, Colonel. Ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We're packing our bags, getting the hell out of here, Colonel. Intel has a hunch the Karathi are on to us. Get this old barge out of this nebula and to the jump point, okay? And let's try and keep a low profile. I hate long goodbyes. Go to it, Colonel. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. Get us to the new jump point, Colonel. Word is Confed's got some other plans for us, and it'd be a shame to disappoint them. But since we're moving such a large force, you can bet the Karathi will want to give us one of their noisy send-offs. Good luck, Colonel. Let's get started, Colonel. Yes, sir. This is a simple search and destroy op. Confed wants to clear out this asteroid belt, see if we can put it to use. Intel's gathered sketchy info that suggests there might be a Karathi base somewhere in these rocks. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. We're gonna burn that base down to the ground, Colonel. They'll never get a chance to build it back up. I want nothing but crater. You leave immediately. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. You have slain many of my finest fighters during your career. You have earned this. for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. We've run into another glitch with this jump point to Kira. It's shielded, 
The shield generator is based on Freya 2. Here's where we see how good these Excaliburs are in taking the fight to the ground. Colonel, I want you to lead the ground assault. Destroy that generator. Good luck, Colonel. Colonel, let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. Colonel, now that we've secured the jump point, we have to clamp down on the Karathi coming through. They can't get word back to their command that we own the jump point now. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. Colonel, let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. We're jumping back into Hyperion. Confiz decided it's a good staging area and we're building up a fleet there. Apparently, the Karathi have got wind of this build-up. We're going to be escorting the big boys. Good luck, Colonel. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. How jump point to Kelrai and the Freya system is being threatened. We can't allow the Karathi to take it back. Not if we're going to put it to use later. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismissed. Colonel, let's go over the mission, shall we? Yes, sir. We're in the last stages of evacuation. The problem we have is that to avoid enemy engagement and to protect these people, we're going to be taking the pulsar route. You know, the kind of gamma ray damage you can sustain from the light of a pulsar. The only protection you'll have is in the shadow of this planet near the jump point. Go to it, Colonel. Ah, Colonel. Good call putting Flint back on the roster. We need every good pilot we can get. I think she's got her head back on straight, hmm? Well, let's get started. My Colonel, I put Flint back on the roster. I'm not really impressed with how you passed the buck. Frankly, I think she's got her head back on straight. Let's get started. We've got one last convoy to evacuate. Get it safely to this jump point and let's get the hell out of here. If we succeed with this mission, I think we'll finally win a little glory for the victory and that's long overdue. Don't worry, sir. I'm trying not to, Colonel. Ah, no rest for the weary, Colonel. Let's get to it. As you wish, Captain. Now that we've hit their base, we can expect the Karathi to send in the cavalry any minute. I'd like you to head them off at the pass, Colonel. Make sure nobody gets through the jump point. Go to it, Colonel. <laughs> 